all right hello collective welcome to my channel welcome to angie blog um don't know where this is going uh spirit thoroughly i was in bed with my kiddos and uh if you hear them they're one of them is a bit stuffy but um yeah it's not that late so that's why i thought i'm like okay i feel like holy spirit is giving me this extra energy <laughs> to do this okay um i flipped this deck before in the morning and he told me to just leave it like that so that i can meditate on this energy more okay so got everything ready here we go <laughs> Remember guys, we're here to read energies, okay? We're not reading gender, okay? Other than that, thank you so much for liking, commenting, your shares, your subscriptions, okay? I really appreciate it. Um, but also, um, yeah, remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So if whatever doesn't resonate, you know, you, you know, don't make it fit, okay? And if it doesn't, there's other readings in the my playlist that you can check out there's all signs readings and all that kind of stuff okay so let's tap right in let's get into this reading okay because it was kind of urgent for some reason and i see i see why but i'm just want to make sure we'll tap into tower and see if i can give you all the details okay but some of you you could be seeing 333 a lot okay seven could be insignificant maybe you're 33 something about 24 family room a child okay so i feel like the energy because there's someone like really concerned okay about this message about someone finding out about a thief someone who's like uh, stealing something or trying to steal something in a family room it could be a child not necessarily but it could be also that someone is very childish okay they're stuck in lack mentality poverty and stuff like that it's because they've done something to someone of high honor, okay? This is someone who's in despair about this labor, someone who tried to jeopardize someone's work and stuff like that, you know? And also that too, it's like they're expecting someone to pass away. Wow. This person could be in spiritual jail. This could be someone from an official person or something like that. Or they try to do that to an official person, okay? But we will get confirmation from We'll get some confirmation, okay? All right. Uh, just gonna follow this. Maybe there's something here. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope this week is a good week for you, okay? By the time you're reading this, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you find this reading, okay? It was meant for you. So let's give you some warning. Oh, that's a lot, sir. Uh, right away, invite Holy Spirit to protect us, to keep us safe. Any negative energy, nasty, hexy. Send it back to sender. So it is. We rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for protecting us. Archangel Michael. So let's see what is going on. What is what is going on? What is what's meant to be seen in the ethos? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, someone's praying, like they're going into nature or something like that. Something about nature, Dawson Road, Seeker, Shooting Star. Okay, so some of you, this is like a confirmation uh, reading. Okay, so we have these people are playing with fire, okay? There are prayers, but I don't know if this is a good kind, right? With this crying mirrors, projection. So yeah, they're projecting something. I feel like this is like the weirdest thing, but I feel like this is someone like prays for your downfall. They're praying to somebody, like something bad happens to you, which is really sad, honestly, because at the end of the day, what they're doing, they're only jeopardizing themselves. And I feel like they're getting the message of that. That's why they're concerned and in despair. Also, they could be doing this in a home, empty home. This feels empty. Also, this could be someone who is vindictive, uh, jealous as well. Who could be doing something to someone who they're trying to steal something. Okay. Maybe it's like you are connected to nature or something like that. Yeah. It could be tower readers, psychic readers. Yeah. Some of you is like you're really connected, you know yeah 
definitely astrology. You could be doing astrology, but smoke and prayers and projections. What else there? Chums. Yeah, this person's taking a chance. So some of you are taking a chance on yourself or it's like this stuff is really is not really affecting you, yeah, because you're so focused. Look, proud and fickle. Like the divine really favors you. And whatever you're doing, if you're doing tarot reading, oracle, psychic readings, and stuff like that, it's like it's your mission. You're meant to be doing that, whether people like it or not. It's a gift. Not everybody has that gift. And the thing is, those who don't have this gift, they have this resentment and jealousy and envy, and they try to jeopardize those who do and also that too they try to imitate or copy other people who are doing this and then they do it in the wrong way right one of the reasons that it could be doing in the wrong way is like you don't heal that jealous envious uh energy their shadow if you don't heal do the shadow work the colonization like i keep saying you cannot do this work you're doing a disservice not only to yourself but to other people okay so someone's using mirrors to try to see like what you're doing, like trying to get ahead of you or something like that. They're also trying to jeopardize your prayers. So maybe like you're someone who prays a lot. I mean, if you're in my community, you pray for real. So these people are trying to take a chance to like that. I don't even know. That's so weird. That's a weird spirit. Yeah, creating illusions make you think that your prayers are not going to be answered. Like just projecting negative energy to you. They, I'm telling you, they're using divinity the tools that we actually use to help people, to heal others, to heal ourselves, to wake people up, to really be in the higher conscious, to raise uh, um, the vibration of humanity and everything, they're using it for the wrong reasons. And this is why there is a the bad rap about this, about this work, because some of us, sometimes we get channel messages which I'm already getting the channel messages already. I don't need to use this. I use it as a tool for you to confirmation for you because we have different readers. We have different timelines. These might resonate with you. It might not resonate with you at all. It might resonate with someone else. That's why when you are done readings, I tell you guys, make sure that you're praying and you're meditating right after readings, okay? Because if you spend like your day looking for readings, watching reading, reading, like you're never gonna, your this intuition and distortion, your clarity is gonna be distorted. And then you tend to blame the reader for that. And it's not our energy. It's this is what we're picking up is other people's energy. We have a lot of viewers. This is timeless, okay? So it could be past, present, and future, okay? Also, that too is our responsibility to cleanse ourselves, to have a pure intentions, pure heart, so we don't project that into our readings, okay? So this is a lesson that we all are in different levels of this um, learning different things. Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, I don't know how many times I have to do this reading. I don't know how it happens, but I had like literally 53 minutes worth of this reading and it was some reason somehow my phone switched. I don't know how it can do that. I don't know how it happened. But it switched to slow motion. So basically it switched. I don't know how this did that. And when I went to check out the video that I was already finished, I noticed that the whole video from eight minutes was completely like slowed down. So somebody really doesn't want to this reading to come out. So I'm going to I'm going to say it. Okay. Especially I just talk about people that are trying to jeopardize people who are speaking this type of truth, who are talking about revealing the truth about someone who lacks integrity, someone who, you know, people who are working, who are alchemists, who are light workers, Darcy's and stuff like that, you know, who are meant to be doing this type of work. I had to do a little, my little cry a little bit, you know, because... I don't think you guys understand like this type of work how many how much energy and it takes and stuff like and then literally see that your whole entire reading was completely uh jeopardized anyways i will do my best so i'm just gonna try to go back where i was so i can let you guys see so thank you for your patience I'm going to try to remember what I said. There was a lot of things that I said that it was actually key for you guys. So I will go back, try to do this back. Um, anyways, 
it's just i'm this is i know it's happening for me not to me but it's just to show you guys this i already shuffled this is what came when i was shuffling okay so it's not like i put this here because i know you guys anyways i don't need to prove it myself i know i'm honest and i have integrity and i know how these people operate and literally i was just exposing this fucking piece of shit anyways what i'm trying to say is wow this is kind of hard okay so the first thing that came out before it was that it, they were doing an incantation okay this toxic people and healthy poison nasty people okay also it could be someone that realized that in the reading they didn't want a lot of us to know really or they don't want to talk about this about this toxic ass person that they cut off that it was literally illuminated to them what they were doing they could be a dark spiritualist or something like that doing stuff through like a stream you know also this person could have been a, a bit of stream trying to cut this person off because they could have hex hex you hex your work or hex this person okay okay uh they're also trying to block some type of love uh union or something like that within twin flame soulmates as well this could be people who do tower for the wrong reasons okay so yeah this person walk away maybe in the past or something like that but also it's like they see you as a star you could be illuminating a lot of things you could be holding a youtube channel you could have a platform okay um yeah this is really hard to do okay well i will try my best how i did it before okay but first they want me to show you this Yeah, someone wa is walking away. So this is why they're retaliating because someone walked away. They had to. They had to leave someone in the behind in the cold because they're toxic as fuck. They're getting some karma right now. Someone, okay, instant karma. But you are divine being, chosen, star, see, elect ones, highly protected, okay? All this of you, your person is calling soon. But make sure they use using spiritual discernment because this person might lack integrity or... I don't know they see you as a someone with integrity also that too is like they could be they don't trust anybody they can only they know that you're honest you're you, you're trustworthy okay this there's someone from their family that betrayed them family friend or something like that who are lying cheating energy you know what i'm saying okay so they're saying to let you know okay so i started with this like this this came out. Uh, this is the Libra Justice. Okay. We have the sun and the moon came up as well. So basically whatever has been in the dog has been brought to light to redeem. Okay. Also that too, guys, go check out that reading from Intuitive Goddess 333. I put it on G Blog community. That is a lot of spiritual lessons there. Okay. Um, so yeah, it says cooperation to perfect to perfect the creation of defend. Okay, insights to understand. So like I just did, I'm trying to defend the truth and continue fighting, even though everything they're trying to block for this communication to come out to this information. Decision about the gaining of respect for or from accept the wisdom. Okay, the wisdom basically the wisdom within yourself and accept that whatever it is or people are doing toxic unhealthy in these situations. You have to accept that and just don't entertain that. That's basically it, okay? That too, what I spoke about, the people who are doing tower reading, oracles and stuff like that, make sure that you're, you're if you're doing, if you're going to do a person or something like that, you have to ask the person literally questions as well. Just like they're uh, they open and available to invade into your uh, privacy, your energy, you also are allowed to ask these questions. For example... I wouldn't trust someone who is in toxic, intoxicated, okay, uh, weed or uh, drugs or alcohol or multiple sex partners. Don't invite them to do a tower reading for you. It's just not healthy, okay? It's not because that person has probably distorted energy. It's very toxic. They're doing unhealthy things and they're going to um, literally poison your energy. That's basically it because that can be transferred as well to tarot. You have to be careful who you do your personal readings, okay? I know there's a lot of tower readers as well that they don't do this. Also, they could be really amazing tower readers and spiritualists who also, they know how to do things in moderation, but they're not exchanging their sacred, their sacred sex energy. 
that's number one for us if you're doing that if you're leaking your energy that person is not of divine i'm telling you right now divine beings are spiritual people who are not stuck in this who've been there though but we don't entertain it and we no longer we accept that we accept that from other people we don't judge other people right we also come some of us didn't have to do you know we we learn from other people we didn't have to be in that situation we are divine beings we're like okay we learned the lesson let's continue going right we're moving forward other people stay in that toxic energy victim energy and then still they want to be divine but they're still entertaining low vibrational demonic and stuff like that you can't you can't be doing that okay so that's why he's being illuminated, okay? The really the true confession shedding the light, okay? So a lot of you is like, that's what we're here for. And yes, we're going to get some retaliation. We're going to get people doing hexes, curses, and stuff. But I'm telling you, you're only cursing yourself. You know? No weapon against us shall prosper. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, decision about the gaining of respect for or from accept, right? The wisdom. So that, that's it. The wisdom that you're getting, the intuition that you're getting, just accept and do what you got to do, okay? No matter what, people, you're not here to be uh, comfortable. You got, you're here to be comfortable with the uncomfortable because the truth, it needs to be out there. It will set people free. Yes, it will make people uncomfortable, but that's what it is. Some people are toxic, nasty, disgusting, and you're here to illuminate that. You're here to heal. You're here to help people not to be stuck in that energy, how the fucking disgusting devil energy is trying to keep them there. You're earth angel. You're a life worker. Yes, and that too. There is light workers and then there's dark well, light, dark workers, right? Dark witchcraft, doing witchcraft, dark magic and stuff like that. They use these tools for the wrong reason. They even cursing those who are illuminating their dark shit. Another thing, those who don't like uh, us to reveal your darkest secrets, stop watching. You know what I'm saying? Don't, because I will tap into your energy. That's another thing. Some of you, you reveal yourself in the comments and stuff like that. Like you're only revealing yourself. You know what I'm saying? I can feel your energy, a lot of you. What I'm saying also, I'm trying to remember what I said because it was like a long, long reading. <laughs> um, one of the things is that is that some of you might feel like this is a stream, this is too much, you know what I'm saying? But it is too much. Some people are too much. Some people don't learn the lesson. They continue trying to jeopardize other people, try to delay, they try to... But at the end of the day, they're only jeopardizing themselves. You know what I'm saying? They're cursing themselves, their family and stuff like that, and they don't get it. They just don't. That's why we have the karmic justice. Everything is going to be revealed. It's everything that has been done in the dark and secret and stuff like that is going to be revealed. Leo energy, Cancer, Libra energy. Result from the fairness shown by things brought to life or light. Let your feelings tell you how to result in from the understanding of limited impose. Okay? So that too is like a lot of people... You have to understand and accept that a lot of people are not going to get you because they're still stuck in limited belief, programming, and old conditioning. You know, that is not your problem. Some of you, that's not our problem. You know, you need to heal. You need to work on your own stuff. And that's just what it is. People who haven't done shadow work, inner work, the colonization, if you're doing tarot and stuff like that, and you haven't done that, you are projecting your unconscious bias into your readings. Okay? It's important that you, that too, we are not here to put our energy. This is not, this is somebody else's energies. That's what we're here to reveal some truth. That's what divine Holy Spirit led us to do this because that's what we're here for. And even if we get obviously situations like this where our equipment or things or that, it gets distorted and just, it is what it is, you know? Anyway, so then I went forward and asked... With this, it was the it was this one, the Eight of Cups with the King of Pentacles, and there was a betrayal. Okay, so this is what's happened. Then I I shuffled again, and there was the Wheel of Fortune. Guys, bear with me. I'm trying to remember exactly how I was trying to do so I can try not to miss the message. If I'm talking too fast, because I'm trying to remember and also channel at the same time. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's a karmic justice for this betrayal. I don't know if it's this king of pentacles did something or something was done to this king of pentacles. But see, he was like, even in the reading, you feel the energy where he doesn't want uh, too much to be revealed about this situation. And also it's like some of you, like this karmic could be watching readings and stuff like that. And, uh, and they get rowdy and angry and they try to do stuff, right? 
but it's only it doesn't do it doesn't affect us at all that's what it is it, affect, it might affect equipment it might get us a little heretic a, bit, a little stomach kick or something like that but none of that you know it doesn't really affect you does god got you god has been fighting all this whatever these people are sending it's coming back to them it's not really hurting you okay all those of you if you're in the tower community and uh, oracles and psychic prophets and stuff like that and you're not connected to god you're not talking to who you think you are you're talking to just being straight up here okay it's every day consistent having a relationship with the most high with jesus and and angels and your spirit guides okay that's what brings your divinity back doing the shadow work in the world the colonization that's what brings your divinity back also not staying stuck in toxic relationship or toxic situation environment places or things or doing that stuff you remember your body is your temple is sacred you must be doing this cleansing energy okay daily sometimes you gotta do saging two times a day three times a day and two baths a day depending on the moon cycles that too Respect the moon cycles if you are someone who is a healer, okay, or is doing this type of stuff, especially uh, if you're a crystal healer or a light worker, okay? Okay, the next thing was, okay, so there was, um, yeah, there was judgment. This person wants your forgiveness, okay? And then... Yeah, the five of cups. Was it the five of cups? Yeah, this is something that they were doing at work. Yeah, this person wants the two of cups. Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> yeah, so this two came up. Like he recognizes this you as their their earth angel who has victory and success. Okay. Then we have the death, so they're going through some ending again with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. This person could be in a very, um, I don't know if they judge you or someone judge them or someone's being kind of harsh or this person is ascending. They're, like there's some type of ascension, like this person is going through some ego death right now, okay? Yeah, and then there was this, the Four of Pentacles, okay? with this these two came up together so this talks about spell work spell work which press someone paying to jeopardize someone's work to slow down someone okay the, they could be slowing down your youtube channel maybe if you have if you're if you have a youtube they should slow down your views to lower down your subscribers to like literally jeopardize your work okay some of you if you're a writer like to make you have a, a writer's blog if you're a musician to make you um procrastinate and stuff like that like stuff like that like this person is very disgusting to be honest okay and they're doing this uh, spite because this person is lear learn like it's aware of their toxic way it could have been a tower reader someone to, like let them know yeah this emperor is in their divine mask and energy okay i feel like they weren't in the past this is why they're overcoming this devil 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 energy yeah they also they're going through a throat chakra activation this person has a lot of love for you Okay, also there could be leaving someone in the, you know, in the cold, that's it. Someone who also could be watching you or they're watching you, but there's someone, oh yeah, this who came up like this. It was the devil in this. That's why I was telling you about the work because they were trying to affect your work, your investment, your finances, or I don't know. This could be multiple people, okay? But this person had like a, there's a third party situation. It could be family, uh, siblings, uh, work, uh, people who are very jealous and envious of you, okay? This person wants this two of cup because they see you as your empress. They see you as a, you know, a creator, someone who is like, you know, worthy of this energy, right? Very creative, very loving, very nurturing, okay? Uh, yeah, there were some deceit, some lying and deceiving here, okay? Then we talked about this. You're being 
close to achieving your goals, which is why you're being attacked. Okay, it's normal. It's like a goal or something that you you manifested something. Also, some of you, you're single, celibate, self-sufficient, you're independent. You're not codependent on anybody. And this is why you're getting a lot of people like mad about you, that you're healthy, you're conscious, you're doing your own thing, you're minding your own business. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, you could be having a lot of suitors that want to be your soulmate and want to be partnered with you and stuff like that. So that's what I'm saying. Use your, your spiritual discernment, your intuition, and pray for it. Pray for your spiritual discernment, okay? The end of a top cycle approaches. I can't make this up. Look. Right? This is Capricorn energy. That's why it's like they're trying to attack you. Psychic attacks, spiritual attacks, and stuff like that. Because you're meant to be with your divine counterpart. Building literally a legacy, an empire. Also that too. Like your person, someone could have stole something from them. With the thief energy. I don't know. There's something like a message. Maybe that you send them a message. Or they were sending you a message. But it got somewhere... Uh, somewhere lost or something but also that too is like this person who they were with they were really nasty they were toxic as fuck there could have been some abuse here but also they stole something from them okay i'm not sure exactly what they stole but your divine saying be believe in the impossible okay have faith in your connection pray for your person okay so yeah then this one came up the mystic healer healing energy flows through you okay Sorry, guys, if I'm speaking too fast. Cleansing water, purification, activates vibrant life force, okay? So make sure that you're doing your spiritual bath, that you're cleansing your energy daily, okay? This is a daily work. The spiritual leaders, they are aware of they have to have self-discipline. Also, this is what God is teaching us about self-discipline. Self-discipline involves not being toxic situation, healthy, unhealthy stuff, right? unhealthy poison dilution nasty behaviors that's done you cannot be in that energy anymore okay that's has consequences that's why you need to be cleansing your energy if you're a healer if you say you're a healer you have to be the example right you can't be doing that stuff and especially if you're doing stuff like this like tower work and also that too it's like it it, it, it blocks your divinity also some of you could be having time out because if you're drinking too much or you're smoking too much or you're having multiple sex partners and you're supposed to be doing this work for the divine you know a lot of you is like time out like that's why you're feeling a little bit of blockages and stuff yeah you are the treasure you have to treat your temple your your nurturing your intuition and stuff like that as your temple beneath the serpent lies great bounty okay some of you is that's it take action with passion your person wants to take action with you look you're the wise leader you are the beacon for others look at that stepping into your power you're strong beyond measure okay <sighs> okay so then i was shuffling this you're a divine being chosen star see a leg once that came up before but then before that was the calling you soon you have integrity okay so that's what it is like you're gonna get a lot of opportunities literally you're having integrity as well okay so doing things with integrity being honest and stuff like that you see only time will tell about this call this person wants to uh, also that too is like only time will tell if this person gets into the energy of having integrity doing things with integrity okay whoever we're talking about here someone's coming back okay or someone's trying to come back that's what they're saying someone's trying to come back this could be this karmic who's trying to come back they lack integrity but your person has integrity okay they did a lust spell on them this is why they were delayed they were involving with a liar compulsive liar and this came out too. So if your person was doing this, lost bills and stuff like that, this, yeah, karmic wheel, lost connection, lost opportunity, closed door, moving on, okay? Now, I'm not getting it's your person because your person is in his divinity. So they're working on themselves. Also, they're um, having, like, you know, they're in that integrity energy vibrations, which means is that they're the one that want to come back. But also this karmic is trying to come back by trying to get them back with lost bill and stuff like that. This is over. That door, that opportunity, that connection is over. But this person is not taking a note. See? They try to curse and hex this person and you. And look, major curse breakthrough. Okay? Yeah, look. They were trying to create chaos, conflict, magic. Okay? Then these two came up afterwards. Wars of Abundance, Archangel Raphael. Okay, so Wars of Abundance. Okay? You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful, 
powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and for others, okay? Before there was also cutting the cord or something like that. Anyways, okay, it's okay. Archangel Raphael, the healing angel is with you, supporting you in your healing work, you and your person, okay? Make sure you're connecting with Angel Raphael, okay? Uh, some of you could be singers. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm trying to get it. Oh. Some of you could be singers, dancers, or something like that, or make sure that you're in the high vibration. Of, look at that. Empathy. Express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement, okay? So again, I have the window open because I have the sage. Yeah, look. Empathy. So now, because you have empathy, these people are trying to abuse that. See, look. Now they have mental health issues due to a lot of spell work, witchcraft, backfire. See? So all these people who try to abuse power and stuff like that because you have empathy and you have integrity and stuff like that, they can't stand that. These are literally sons and devils. Of, sons and, and daughters of the devil. That's what it is. They're abusers. Oh, <sighs> Okay. Um... Wow, that only took 22 minutes. Let's see if there's any messages, Spirit, that you want to let them know. Sorry, guys, that was intense. Maybe some signs you need to be aware of, Spirit. Cancer. Pisces. This could be heavy under a chart. This could be whoever did the spell work, witchcraft on you. Or it could be your person. Oh, they're saying some of you could be fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Saturn. Saturn. So when you check out your in your chart, what in your birth chart, what Saturn sign is for you? Yeah, we're dealing with a Virgo. Not necessarily have to be, but all the signs are here, honestly. Air, except Earth. It's, there's a Virgo here, Capricorn. Okay, Moon again, Cancer, double Cancer here. Venus. This is Empress, Taurus energy. Not necessarily have to be, but this could be heavy on your chart or heavy on their chart, okay? What else, spirit? Yeah, clock. Need time, take time, in time cycles, time to heal progress. So yeah, this person is healing. They have to heal this situation from this person. Yeah, look, the Grim Reaper. Damn. Creepy's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Hesitation. So, yeah, this is why they want to keep it on the low because the karma could be watching uh, readings and stuff like that. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. I already said that. This is just confirming what we just said. Yeah, see? I can't make this up. This person is letting go of an abuser. A karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Yeah. Some of you, it's like you need to let go of this karmic relationship or something like that. Yeah, this person loves you. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Yeah. So some of you is uh, this person, some of you, yeah, you are meant to be light worker, tower readers, something, you know, of the light, you know, and you have this karmics, you have their family, you have all these karmic energies, like, but the Green Reaper is here, it's cutting all these people off, putting them in their place, you know, yeah, freedom, look at that, this came up in the other reading. There was another one, Lumerian. Shine your light. Yeah, you're free. Shine your light. Okay, harmonic light. Look at that. What's this? Reclaim your energy. Yes, I'm going to read you this one. Your energy is your responsibility. I said that in this. And how we give it away becomes a conscious choice as we step into empowerment. And yes, it is possible to restore the fragment of self we gave away before we came to this awareness. 
You have the power to own your energy and choose where you're directed. If you're not at your optimal vibration, consider the core of why this might be. Detach from depleting influences and boost positivity. It is up to you to make the shift. Transform your life by choosing healing and self-empowerment. Kickstart the upward spiral to abundant energy and soul presence. Okay, look at that. Grounded, beautiful, empress energy, beauty, healing, self, self care, self love, and healing, self worth, know your worth. Okay, it's important. In a world that doesn't want you to know your worth, absolutely you need to know your worth. Also, self care, knowing your worth, integrity, empathy, it's freedom, it's literally wealth, it's literally spiritual wealth, being conscious operating from the conscious mind and being aware and take responsibility and accountability for your own mistakes stop projecting stop judging that too when you're in a judging energy this your divinity you time out you cannot be in this energy if you're doing this type of work okay freedom freedom means living as you choose with your wings and heart open able to direct your reality as you want the quest for freedom seems in innate you may picture freedom in its more extreme guises, but when we truly feel free, our lifestyle may not change drastically. Limitation can be a state of mind. The only cha change might be choosing to live a certain way rather than feeling obligated. Exactly. I was. I don't feel obligated to do this, but I want. I feel it in my spirit that I have to. Right. I'm following my mission and my calling, you know? But once you feel obligated, then there's something like, you know, wait, you know what I'm saying? You're free to do what you will, but also that too is like, it's my calling to be of service. It's my calling to help people, to heal, to not be in that unconscious and victim and hemp mindset. Also upset karmic relationship, narcissistic abuses and stuff like that. We're here to kill that, to eradicate that. Just like we're here to eradicate white supremacy, lies sneaky energy apathy it's just not we're not accepting that in our new world and a new earth we're not accepting that i'm not accepting that for myself from within myself and i'm not accepting that from others i'm not judging other anybody but i'm here to do what i've got to do whether people like it or not that's the energy you need to be you need to know thyself you need to heal yourself I'm just a God here. Don't try to idolize me. I'm not nobody's people's gods. You know what I'm saying? There's only one God. And he's giving you the messages for you to do your own work. Just like all of us have to do our work. Okay? Where are we? Limitation can be a state of mind. The only change might be choosing to live a certain way rather than feeling obligated. A shift of perspective can help bring lightness and choice. In the bigger picture, what does freedom look like to you? If you're feeling stuffled, it is up to you to make the change, okay? Now, shine your light. Look how beautiful. Shine your light. No one can do as you can, yet we sometimes feel that we need to be a certain way, a way not aligned with our authentic self. It takes discipline, like I said, to do what we love. That too. Anything that is worth uh, lasting, that is worth keeping, it takes work. Relationship takes work marriages union stake work it's not all lovely landing but that's that's what it is it's like true love and true love for whatever passion whatever things that you want to do takes work you know what i'm saying but it depends how you look at it it's smart work though not hard work that's oppressive smart work okay just saying and nothing is supposed to oppress you or keep you in any type of way. You're free to do, you know what I'm saying? But you have to do things with integrity, with honesty, with faithfulness and loyalty. Those are high vibrational energies that also opens for manifestations, right? Brings you blessings. It unblocks whatever is being blocked, you know? So that's why a lot of you don't understand that being in this energy and in nurturing and in maintaining that and being consistent with that is what brings you what you're here to do. Also, shining your light, being in your mission, you know? It is time to collect our light. Wait, where are we? Yes, yet. We sometimes feel that we need to be a certain way, a way not aligned with our authentic self. It takes discipline to do what we love, especially for natural givers. Hey. It is easy to get caught up with other people's lives. Tending to our own needs harms none, and we will have a lot more to give. 
it is time to collect our light and shift the vibration here on earth starting with our inner sense of being thank you holy spirit hallelujah i just talked about that you are sovereign being remember this you are sovereign being put it in the comments as a, an affirmation for yourself i am a sovereign being okay i regain compassion and empowerment and remember what lights up my world that's a beautiful affirmation okay remember be compassionate with yourself so you can be compassionate to others be kind to yourself so you can be kind to others have empathy for yourself so you can be have empathy for others you forgive yourself so you can forgive others okay that's really it, it starts with you okay and remember what lights up your world what lights up your world what makes you happy so you can shine that light to other people that's it really it don't complicate things you know all right my beautiful people i hope this was helpful sorry about the I hope this message was still clear. Um, and I hope this helped you and bring you some truth and clarity. I love you guys. Make sure you're doing your prayers, your affirmations, you know, your, your meditations, okay? And keeping the high vibration right now, okay? I'll see you next time, okay? Bye.